Well, what's happening guys? Bobby at Rides Auto Sales. Got some people requesting a nice little video of this beautiful 64 that we have resting on our showroom floor here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a nice cold start, give you a walk around, let you take a peek at this thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump inside here, give this 327 a crank. As you're gonna see, carb is tuned very well. Um, it fires right up, runs on its own. Going outside here so you can hear it. You can see it starts up runs on its own no problem go ahead and jump underneath the hood here while we do have the hood open as you're gonna see this 327 has been dressed up nicely got a performer intake manifold uh, Elbrock 650 carb um, nice set of headers on it uh, of course power steering power brakes looks really good resting in between these fenders and the fenders are the way GM intended it satin finish underneath there um, all hoses replaced. This was a maintained GM vehicle in the state of North Dakota for about 25 years. Really, really well taken care of. We're gonna go ahead and close this hood. Give you a quick walk around with that hood closed. Jump back, get you in full frame so you can see it. As you're gonna see guys, I know pictures are hard to tell, but we'll give you a video that will tell tell all. Um, panel gaps line up great from fender to hood on passenger side fender to hood on driver's side, nice and equal. As you see, this hood does sit nice and flush. No weird spring, not sticking up over the top of the fenders, anything like that. Cruising across the front of the grill, you're gonna see a bumper that presents itself, very nice. Grill is as clean as clean can be. All the bright work on this vehicle is super nice. Headlights are nice, in great condition as well. Cruising down passenger side, you can see nice crisp lines, smooth contours, set of American waist racing wheels, all four corners, all new rubber as well. Um, trim lines up great from panel to panel. Once again, that panel gap on the door to fender is spot on. From door to rear quarter, nice and spot on and nice smooth contours, crisp lines. You can go ahead and walk that panel all the way up and down. Looks good all the way through. You can see door jams are nice and clean. All these gaskets are brand new, nothing weather checked, distressed, anything like that. Unpainted striker plates up inside of the door jams are painted just as well as the exterior. Go ahead and close that door. You're gonna see one finger, nice solid thud. Top of the car looks great as well. Cruising across, once again, panel gaps on that trunk lid to those rear quarters, all nice and spot on, all equal. No weird rays, sits nice and flush with both rear quarters as you're gonna see. Rear bumper presents itself just as well as the front. Tail lights are nice and clear, free of any cracks, condensation buildup, anything like that cruising down driver's side once again nice smooth contours crisp lines <laughs> this uh, rear quarter to door lines up great you know price does reflect quality this is a super nice car guys uh, there are a couple little chips here and there that you could touch up um, nobody's gonna see them. You're gonna know they're there, of course, when you do touch them up. But all in all, like I said, you know, this is a nice, nice car, great driver. From door to front fender, you're gonna see nice gaps as well. Fender all the way down, nice smooth contours once again. These doors do sit nice and flush. If you look down that thing, they don't stick out, they don't bow out. Um, actual Chevy OEM post date mirrors 
jumping inside here. Once again, all new gaskets, nothing weather checked or distressed all the way around as well. All this stuff is nice and clean and brand new. Rear windows work as they should. Unpainted striker plates. Interior is absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I'm talking show quality, it is beautiful. Gauges, as you can see, are as clear as clear can be. AM, FM radio does work and works very well. Original Impala wheel in very, very good condition. You do have your typical crack up here, which you'd have on just about any Impala. Um, all door hardware, as stated, does work as they should. Doors have been recovered and they look great. Jump it into the back seat, as clean as clean can be. Lights do work. Carpets are as clean as clean can be underneath those as well. Don't have a nasty wiring mess. Wiring is all clean and new. Go ahead and close this door. As you're gonna see one finger on that guy is nice and solid. We'll jump back and get this into full frame before we do close, guys. And that is our beautiful 64 sitting on the showroom floor that a lot of you are asking for videos about. Sorry I did forget about this one, guys. Uh, once again, Bob Rides Auto Sales. Email address, phone number will be directly below this link. Uh, feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email, shoot me a text message. If you have any questions, comments, words of wisdom, anything like that, I would love to help you with your next purchase from Rides Auto Sales. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.